how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i really appreciate your support your love you guys are the best may god bless you but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and if you subscribe youtube automatically will turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so please subscribe and you will never regret for doing that <laughs> so let's jump into our today's video our today's video is going to be a story time of a zambian lady by the name of linda who was a single mother of one and thought due to her bad past love relationship experience will never find true love but as you know guys god is always good eventually guys linda found love on a dating site and that's why we are here <laughs> and linda found love with this amazing man from norway so if you are on the dating sites dating apps searching for that true love searching for that quality guy i know you are <laughs> very few of you are here just to support me but most of you are in that struggle to find that right man that will love you that you will create a family together so if that's the case in today's video you are going to learn a lot something that i'm so proud of myself is that every love story that i bring here you've got something new to learn from it which makes me super happy and super excited every time i come here to share with you a love story and you my beautiful black african women watching this <laughs> this video will make you relate a lot a lot especially the struggles that we always go through before finding a love i know not all women go through struggles to find that right man but most especially african women most of us <laughs> we suffer a lot i suffered so 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 much in my past relationships and you guys know that that is why i'm saying we including me guys yeah so without wasting much of your time let us jump into today's video so dear friends linda's love story starts when she was at the university because tells us that was her first serious relationship so while at the university met this cute juicy <laughs> zambian guy and they started dating they were crazily in love with each other but that guy was in his last year at the university so when he graduated linda was still studying and after that zambian guy graduating they kept on dating he went and started living with his friends in lusaka did not get a job right away then linda tells us sometimes could help him financially but right now laughs at it and is like bella i can't believe i was such a fool <laughs> But I told you guys, we all have been mumus <laughs> when it comes to love. <laughs> yeah, so Linda could help him around. You know, he doesn't have a job and she loves him and she has got some savings to do that. So yeah, she could do that. So yes, guys, their relationship continued, but that guy found a job in another city eventually and that's when the relationship became a long distance relationship so at first things were okay they would communicate you know and see each other during holidays in retrospect now she realized he started communicating less and seeing her less as his family was living 
in a different town from where he worked but if you're watching this video and you have ever been in a relationship with a guy you guys were so much in love with each other <laughs> it reaches an extent you're inseparable when your man changes of course you are going to notice so yes he could say that he doesn't have enough time because he has to go and visit his family which lived very far from the town where he worked but to linda it started occurring that this guy might have someone else in his life yes <laughs> her intuition started telling her that and also she remembered at the time that guy wasn't working living with his friends in lusaka she noticed one of his friend had two different women when she asked him he was like ah you know one of the lady is not even his girlfriend she's only forcing herself on that man she ignored that and was like okay after all that was just a friend to her boyfriend so yeah she remembered you know that incident and things were not sitting right in her head so when she got the opportunity to go through his phone found very suspicious messages from one certain lady and took the number decided to call that lady when she called the lady picked told her she was from the same town where that guy is from and actually they are dating <laughs> so this guy used to say that he is going to visit his family but the truth is he was not going to visit his family he used to go visit that girl because they were dating according to how the lady talked to linda oh my goodness linda was super mad and had to confront him so when she confronted him <laughs> i told you <laughs> most most of our african brothers these people can lie these people can lie for the whole world <laughs> I know if there is one watching this who get angry at me but it is the truth like bitter truth <laughs> you can catch your boyfriend on bed with another woman and still denies it yeah but the truth is they are there you saw them so what are you denying so when linda confronted the boyfriend of course he denied it and because linda tells us wanted to hold on to him she had to understand and they kept on dating but as they kept on dating this guy kept on communicating less kept on seeing her less until he disappeared altogether there was nothing like let's break up or anything like that something that left linda with a sense of not having a closure and it took her so long to let go of that guy what do we learn from this so friends i had told you in my past videos that if you are a woman always trust and respect your intuition if it tells you there is fire there don't ignore it and be like i will go anyways because my head tells me to go no don't go because if you go you will get burned when it comes to you are dating a guy and then you discover the guy has been cheating on you there is no need to keep pushing there is no need to keep holding on to that relationship because the truth is it will never work out the truth is that guy will keep on cheating on you even if you guys get married he will keep on cheating and cheating and cheating and one time he might leave you for the lady he has been cheating you with or with one of the ladies <laughs> yeah because most cheaters don't tend to stay with only one woman it's the truth so at the time linda had the evidence that the boyfriend was cheating on her she was supposed to leave was not even supposed to you know go and ask talk then you know reconcile 
<laughs> no, no way. You are cheating on me, boy. Bye. Yeah, we should be like that. But sadly, sadly, this is not the reality when it comes to us black african women most of us one time i was on social media then i came across this video clip <laughs> actually it was a wedding that happened in tanzania my own country where i come from so on that wedding actually the groom was talking took the mic and started talking like and he was like to you prostitutes or to you all my concubines <laughs> this is the woman i have chosen to marry yeah so even if i keep on cheating on her she will still be my wife and guess what everyone was like yeah <laughs> like clapping for him i got so angry i was like why are they even clapping for him and the bride was there you know smiling proudly <laughs> If it was me, I could have left him there and end of marriage. We should be like that. Guys, let's know our worth. Yeah, because when we know our value, then men will learn to value us. They will learn to treat us right. Yeah, so please never tolerate any guy that cheats on you and you'll be like no i love him we have so much memories together no let's continue now with this story after she had to let go of that cute zambian guy what happened so dear friends when linda had to let go of that first boyfriend graduated eventually and then started working. But when she thought to give dating a try again, ended up in breakups or other women evolved. Yeah, so dating life was really frustrating for Linda. So guys, in 2013, Linda tells us, met another cute Zambian guy, his name is Kennedy. Kennedy at that time was going a very rough patch of his life and quickly they became best friends. So friends, friendship led to dating. Everything was going super good. They were there for each other. Actually guys, they dated for one year and reached a point they started talking of marriage. Wanted to make his intentions known to her mother since linda had lost the dad in 2014 may his soul keep resting in peace amen so when kennedy said that wanted to go and see linda's mother linda tells us her mother never liked that guy at all at all and thought before this guy comes to see my mother because linda is a woman of god was like i need to fast and pray about it you know talk to god or seek god's guidance so that is what linda did before the guy visited you know the mother to do the introduction she also adds that marriage wasn't going to be an easy step because of the commitments that comes with it this lady is very very clever it's true guys i've been telling you never rush into marriage and before you get married can you please pray about it talk to god so another thing that was making linda to be very careful tells us at that time her sister's marriage had already broken down so wanted to be super careful before making that important decision and the good thing is the sister she is talking about is my baby <laughs> also found love on a dating site but we'll talk so deeply about that as we continue with this love story so due to what happened to her sister's marriage i was like ah oh, i better be careful <laughs> so guys after praying and fasting about kennedy coming to visit <laughs> her mother guess what god responded 
how did he respond? Linda got a call from a girl that she knew was Kennedy's friend, girlfriend. Yeah. So when this lady called, asked Linda, is it true that you and Kennedy are cousins? <laughs> Guys, let's laugh about this. <laughs> Our African brothers <laughs> have shown us Pepe. <laughs> Nigerians call it Pepe. Yeah, they have shown us Pepe. Imagine. <laughs> of course, Linda says that was so strange. So when Linda asked her, why is she asking if Linda and Kennedy <laughs> were cousins? Then that girl told her that Kennedy had shown interest in her cousin and actually they have started something. When that girl asked Kennedy about Linda, Kennedy was like, Linda is my cousin. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Linda was in a shock and told the girl, we are not cousins. I am Kennedy's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was an Afro cinema, guys. An Afro cinema. Linda cried a lot, was like, how could he play me? She was really heartbroken, but took that as a sign from God. Took that as an answer from God not to go ahead with that marriage. Did not hesitate to break up with Kennedy. This time she had learned her lesson, you know, from the first relationship. <laughs> you catch him cheating, you break up. No need to continue. Though she tells us she knew people were going to talk because lots of people knew they were dating, including her workmates. Breaking up wasn't easy at all. And yes, I know. But if you are in any toxic relationship, you are in a relationship where you are not happy, maybe in a marriage where you are not happy, you are being treated bad, do not start thinking about outside people because i told you guys it's you that is leaving hell outside people won't understand that's your life that's you so before thinking of others think of you be like it's me that i am treated bad i'm in this marriage but it's not what i thought it was going to be so if i leave the marriage and i am at peace those who will talk i don't care i'm just going to tap my ears and move forward pray to god to bring a man that will truly love me because i know most ladies you know hold on to toxic relationships hold on to toxic marriages because of outside people people that don't even have a clue of what you have been supporting that is why i'm telling you no need to think of them please please because if you stay and then something bad happens to you same same people you know who start being like oh why did she leave blah 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 so <laughs> leave people alone love yourself Think of you. Be selfish in this case. So Lena tells us it was very, very painful because he is the guy that considered to marry. You know? Yeah. Breakups are not easy. I'm here telling you breakup or some of you I tell you divorce, but it's never easy. It wasn't easy for both of them. But once you do it, after going through all that, you know, process, later you will be happy. Later you will find a peace of mind, which is so, so important. And even on Kennedy's side, he did not accept it easily. He kept on to pester her wanting them to get back together but linda stood on her ground and was like no i'm not getting back to you so it ended like that guys so guys linda and kennedy dated from 2013 till 2016 that's when they decided to break up so after breaking up with kennedy 
Linda went back to single life. Tells us it wasn't easy at all because most of her close friends were in a relationship. Those who were older were already married. And tells us you know how it is in our African society. If you reach a certain age and you are still single, living alone, they start talking, they start pointing fingers at you. And that really frustrated Linda a lot, could make her feel so bad. Guys, I went through this too. <laughs> Though people, you know, they don't talk to you directly, but they will talk to your close friends. They might even talk to your sisters. For example, me, some people could talk to my sisters and be like, when is your young sister getting married? <laughs> some could talk to my friends, be like, she's so beautiful. Why is that? She doesn't have any man, you know? <laughs> she's going to grow old without anyone. Yeah, they could talk like that. It is really, really frustrating, but as someone who went through that, I'm advising you, if you are an African woman watching this, and maybe you're going through this, never listen to those people they don't know the struggles that you have been through like i told you for example me it's not that i never wanted to get married it's not that i was that bad woman it's not that i was ugly it is simply because i could try and relationships could fail you know these guys could keep on you know behaving bad <laughs> towards me cheating on me and all those things but the people who used to talk to my friends or to my sisters they didn't have a clue of what i have been through trying to find that right man to marry me. That is why I'm telling you there is no need to listen to those people or let those people pressure you to make very, very bad decisions or make decisions that will later make you cry or even ruin your whole life. And imagine these people that were talking and pointing fingers at Linda Linda at that time was only 26 years. She was like, Bella, I was only 26 years, by the way. Sad. And this reminds me, when I was in my secondary school, I remember our English teacher. <laughs> I have some classmates who watches me here. You will remember. <laughs> our English teacher, his name was Matthias. So Matthias used to say, if a lady reaches 25 years and you are not married, then just know that you have reached the red zone. Like the light is hitting on your face. <laughs> <laughs> so guys that is the society that we grew in so imagine your teacher talking like that of course when you reach 24 25 and no man by your side you start getting that pressure you start calling yourself i'm getting old imagine 25 <laughs> and you're saying you're old it starts like really getting into you and you start looking for a husband you know by fire by force <laughs> you don't look at the red flags get married and later cry yes i told you here like where i live in italy people look for love even in their 70s yeah <laughs> they're still looking for love and they find love by the way so it's never too late to find love just calm down let us continue with the story guys so guys linda kept on being single and tells us being in the same city with kennedy kept on reminding her of his betrayal and couldn't take it anymore. So when the opportunity came to transfer to another town, she took it. <laughs> so guys, Sufi is home and apparently wants to say hello. Okay, greet. <laughs> In English. Eh? Oh, Hi guys. Hi guys. How are you? Mamma, chi è la guys? La guys, è le persone che guardano le video. Ah, ti vedi tanto bene a persone. <laughs> In inglese. Yeah, I love you so much, guys. 
And then if it was guys. <laughs> she was asking who are guys? <laughs> who are the guys? Imagine the questions this girl is asking me. <laughs> who are the guys? I'm like, people who watches the video, and then she's like, I love you. <laughs> I say it in Italian. I love, I love you. you guys. <laughs> I love you. Okay, send a kiss. Madam Bacho. <laughs> She's showing her nails. Oh my god. You're going to forgive me today. This little lady. She wants you guys to see her nails that I did. <laughs> okay, Sophie, you're beautiful. Bye. So, yes, guys, I was saying before Sophie came in that. <laughs> Linda decided to accept the opportunity to transfer to another town. Also applied for her master's program and got accepted. But tells us still had that void of being with someone to share everything with. And also tells us it happened. She was still in touch with an old friend whom they met at the university. And that guy used to like Linda a lot, was so interested in Linda. But Linda never liked the guy, never saw him, you know, in that way, that romantic way, saw him only as a friend. Also, that guy had told Linda he had got married some time back and he has one daughter but her marriage couldn't work out because of that woman's behavior so he was also interested in that master's program that she had applied and they decided to do it together and he told her that he is still interested in her she started considering it and with the society pressure she was feeling at that time was like, why not? Though guys, remember, or she tells us, did not like him, but was like, I am going to learn to love him. And guys, that was the biggest mistake she committed. Okay? Date someone because you feel something for them. Don't date someone because of the society pressure don't date someone because maybe of your life situation maybe your financial situation never do that because if you date that person eventually you decide to get married live together you are going to live unhappy there is nothing like i am going to learn to love him if you don't like him now if you don't feel anything for him now you will never feel that even if you might be like okay if he gives me this maybe that will help me to love him more he will give you that thing and then once that moment passes you're going to return to be the same you're not in love you are unhappy it's like you know signing for a life imprisonment i'm telling you dear beautiful ladies date a guy because you truly love him you're so attracted to him and you love everything about him so guys linda and george started dating all was going super super good you know in the right direction they could see each other during school because george used to work four hours from lusaka and as they kept on you know dating eventually he invited her where he used to stay and work and she went when she went found that george was living with a friend checked everything was in order you know she controlled if she could find anything suspicious like a woman's under <laughs> or a comb no nothing like that all was good 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 in order guys i repeat so she was happy and yeah returned to her town where she used to work and study the relationship continued though tells us sometimes 
when they could talk on the phone the phone could break and when it could break he could say it's network poor network because it was a rural area and is understandable and like i told you if you're dating someone you try your best to be very understanding but this whole thing of understanding everything that the guy tells you it is what later backfires us it is what later brings us down because they take advantage of that you know she is so understanding she will understand me and keep on lying to you so let's be very careful on that you shouldn't be understanding everything if something is not sitting right please keep digging deep you will find the truth one day so they kept on dating and told us they had not dated for all that long that was 2017 when she found out that she was pregnant yeah so when linda discovered was pregnant of course had to communicate with george his response was it's okay everything will be fine but tells us during pregnancy was alone and had to fend for herself most of the time so yes guys her life changed it really really changed and tells us she also had loans to pay and it wasn't an easy period for her at home no one knew about george neither her workmates which was super super embarrassing because guys the thing is in our african society in some countries i can talk of tanzania and now of zambia because it is the same same thing that linda talked about when you get pregnant outside wedlock and moreover nobody knows who the father is Hmm. that can be really really embarrassing because people start saying that maybe that child you got it from a guy who is married that is why the father is unknown or some will be like maybe you are selling your body and then you got pregnant so that means you are a prostitute so it is not an easy situation guys if you get pregnant and the father is unknown at least if you get pregnant outside wedlock it is an embarrassment still but kind better if this guy went and talked to your parents or your family knows that guy so with linda oh my goodness she was in that situation whereby everyone looks at her and people talk talk and talk and talk so we go back to when this lady was having the pressure of the society you know to be with someone to be with a man so that even the society can see oh yes linda has a boyfriend and decided you know to date this guy that she didn't even like that much <laughs> now she is pregnant and alone same same people that pressured her to get into a relationship and ignored the red flags are laughing at her did those people get pregnant no it's linda that got pregnant so we are at it again it's all about you go so it was tough and embarrassing but had to be strong and accept it so among of the things that she will never forget remembers when she was pregnant and you know guys when you are pregnant how you tend to have those cravings of eating something and all that <laughs> yeah so this lady financially wasn't stable at that time she is pregnant had to call george so when she called george told george that wants help for food wants to buy food and george's response broke her heart he was like hunger is for everyone you are not the only person that gets hungry did not send her anything 
and she tells us, you can imagine her regret. She was regretting a lot, regretted that I wish I could have stayed single than getting pregnant outside wedlock, whereby she had done everything right till that moment when she got pregnant because wanted to be a good example to her siblings. She is a firstborn in her family and, and tells us, you know, the position, the expectations that our African parents put on firstborn children. Yeah. So she was super, super, you know, disappointed in herself that I did everything right but fell into this guy's trap. I'm no longer even a good example to my siblings. So had to talk to her pastor, the pastor who went and talked to her mom, you know, to break the news to the mom that she is pregnant, got pregnant outside the wedlock. It was really difficult at first, but later her mom understood, accepted and supported her. So yes, the mother supported her, but tells us now she was dealing with the stigma of getting pregnant outside the wedlock with an unknown father, a guy that had not yet presented himself to her family to talk about her and the child yet to be born. So yes, she kept on regretting at that time and wishing she could have stayed single, concentrated on her studies, but it had happened and she had to leave some causes because didn't have enough money, had to even start preparing for her child birth. So guys, Linda tells us it was such a painful experience and no woman deserves to feel alone during that sensitive period of their lives. You need to feel your partner's love and support when you are pregnant because it is not the same as what others can offer. But Linda did not get that. That partner's love and support during pregnancy, it wasn't there. And sadly, it is not what she expected. She expected this guy to be excited, you know, for the arrival of the child. You know, both of you feel happy because you are expecting the child. Guys, I think you can feel her frustration. So guys, they kept on communicating, but Linda tells you it felt forced because most of the times she was the one initiating the communication and that eagerness, that excitement of expecting a child wasn't there at all. The thought of her, you know, expecting a child is what kept her moving, is what kept her strong, couldn't wait to meet her son. She also adds that after all, children are innocent. They don't choose the circumstances in which they are born. It's so true, guys. So guys, Lena tells you that to take you back, when she was dating Kennedy, I think you guys remember as Kennedy. Yeah, <laughs> a guy before George. <laughs> Who told another lady that Linda was his cousin? <laughs> yeah, Kennedy. So when she was dating Kennedy, tells us they dated for three good years. But in those three years, they enjoyed the goodies only five times. Because Linda was like, I'm not going to be giving you my goodies frequently. <laughs> As if we are a married couple, no, you're not going to get that. Until we get married, oh yes, you can have the goodies as you want, anytime. <laughs> so when Kennedy cheated on her, told her it is one of the reasons to why he cheated, cause she never shared that much her goodies. <laughs> so when she started dating, George was like, this time, I don't need any excuses. Someone cheating on me and complain that I did not give enough goodies. 
<laughs> I am going to be giving the goodies. So she kept on giving the goodies and we see the results. She got pregnant. And I remember too, when I was telling you some of my stories about my past relationships, I told you I was just like linda i never used to share you know my goodies anyhow because <laughs> the thing is once you give the goodies out you accept to give the goodies these people take advantage of you they will want to take the goodies all the time once they are done with the goodies they disappear then come back again in the end no marriage nothing they just use you so that is why i was like no way we can just keep it like that we are boyfriend and girlfriend and yes once in a while enjoy the goodies and till you decide you want to get married to me <laughs> then yes we can enjoy the goodies because you see she was like i don't want uh any excuses i'm gonna be giving the goodies she gets pregnant and then this guy changes on her let's learn guys from this story so eventually guys the pregnancy came to an end and linda got her cute baby boy so when the baby was born george had to go and present himself to linda's family to give the baby his name but linda tells us she had also given the baby her own name and the tradition is that when you impregnate a lady and then you have to go to meet her family so that you can give the baby your name you get charged for the damage and if you're not going to get married to that woman you get charged too <laughs> yeah so when george went of course he was charged but before the uncles who represented her family you know in that meeting had talked to linda and asked her if they ever discussed about getting married and linda was like no we never discussed about that tells us it was really really embarrassing so yes the meeting was held and george came with some of his relatives so when the meeting was done the uncles went and told linda and linda's mom that we suspect this guy is married and even the people he came with are not even his real relatives linda was super surprised because was like i had visited this guy at his house and everything was in order so she was questioning herself and decided to leave it like that so guys linda tells us from the beginning joe did not show much interest in his son and tells us you know how expensive children are so linda had to move in with her mother so that her mother can help her with her son as it was her first one and did not want to stay there longer but because did not have that financial capability ended up staying there longer than she expected so at that time linda could not afford to rent a house of her own and take a house help so that she can work also at that time her loan was still running George wasn't sending her any money. She had to call, you know, chase him to remind him about his son. It was very, very frustrating for Linda. She tells you guys that did not picture to find herself in that position. So guys, you know those things of we have a child, now we are family, we should be together, you know, just for the sake of our child that one crossed linda's mind and decided to talk to george like let's settle down but his response was i'm not ready because i am not financially stable but linda tells you is a guy that had employment he was working but still saying he isn't ready he is not financially stable 
and also time kept on going but never got a call from his parents to ask about the grandson this started making her recall the words of the uncles maybe this guy probably he is married so she decided eventually to confront him to ask him if he is married or he has someone out there but george denied it and said no and the reason why i'm not coming to see the child is because you are living at your mother's place but this guy could not go physically to see the son and also could not even call to check on the baby another thing that always makes me super angry <laughs> i've talked about this too i think a year ago or two years ago like the reality of things when people separate or they divorce you know you find an african guy has got a baby mama <laughs> those baby mamas if any baby mama is receiving the support from the guy she is still giving the guy her goodies yes because if you don't give your goodies then this guy will not support you financially this is really really sad but that's the truth very very few guys will still support you and they don't want anything to do with you even take your goodies but most are users i must use you so that i can support our child imagine guys imagine so same as george george was never interested in that child linda has said it but still he is saying he cannot go to see the child because she is at her mother's place what do you understand <laughs> he cannot get linda's goodies because linda stays at her mom's place <laughs> ah guys with sick mind so friends linda tells us from the beginning joe did not show much interest he could also promise to go like okay i'm coming on sunday when sunday comes then something comes up he postpones i will come on next saturday when saturday comes then something again comes up keeps on like that something that was really frustrating and linda started considering if this guy should still be part of her son's life because she did not like the instability and the inconsistency of george it clearly showed that he was really not interested in his son through his actions so guys when linda thought about it very well decided to stop asking for any contribution from george it tells us like like he was contributing anything anyway nothing <laughs> yeah so he could call once in a while when he feels like and linda kept on answering his calls so what she decided to do decided to put all her energy on her child and focusing on getting back on her feet so she started a side business put extra hours to work and eventually guys managed to pay the rent move out of her mother's house wow she's such a strong woman we can't keep on crying guys we just need to take actions because if you keep crying running after that guy eventually days are going before you know it a child needs to go to school and you're still there crying running after a guy you have to take things at hand work hard and everything will be fine you will get back on your feet that hard time it is just a period of time it shall come to pass i am encouraging you you who is going through the same situation right now like the one linda went through 
in the past. So guys, after Linda moving out of her mother's house, the guy discovered <laughs> and started pressuring Linda, I want to come to see the child, where are you? <laughs> and was like, tell me, give me the address, I really want to come. Using the baby as an excuse, this guy just wanted to use Linda, you know, to take the goodies, but Linda did not disclose where she was, did not give her address to George. So friends, at that time, Linda was no longer interested in George, was over him. That is when she started analyzing their relationship and discovered that their relationship had lots of red flags that she chose to ignore. I salute this lady. Guys, I told you, when you are over a relationship, before going into another relationship, you should first learn from your past relationship where you went wrong. The problem with most women, when the relationship goes bad, we only want to put the blame on the guy without looking on ourselves. Where did we go wrong? And me saying this, it's not that you are a bad woman. It's not that you're not a wife material. It's not that you treated that guy badly simply because maybe there are some red flags that you ignored. So you need to take that responsibility of that action of ignoring that red flag the red flag that if you had not ignored it you were not going to be in the situation that you are in all that you went through it's important guys we should always think yes the guy was bad yes this guy you know was not going to be a good guy to any woman <laughs> Even if an angel falls down and dates that guy, he will never be a good guy. We accept that. But you as a woman, I told you, you have to protect yourself. You come first. A guy is not going to protect you. A guy is not going to tell you, I have this red flag, I have this red flag. No, it's up to you to shine your eyes and act as early as possible. So Linda, when she was over it, was like, oh yes, I made a mistake here, I made a mistake here, I chose to ignore all these red flags, it is also my fault. Why I found myself in this situation. And this helped Linda big time, you know, when she was ready again to start another relationship. So I hope this helps you guys. You who has been through a very bad relationship, maybe a very bad marriage and it is over. Don't keep on being like, he's a bad guy. He did this, he did this, he did this, he did this without being like, wait a minute. Which red flag did I ignore? <laughs> Yeah, so let's keep on with this story, guys. So among of the red flags that she chose to ignore, in the whole relationship, this guy had never introduced her to any of his relative or even his parents. She didn't know anyone. The only thing she knew, he had some relatives in Lusaka. And she started believing the whole thing of this guy might be married. Yeah. With the introduction, I won't talk so much. I've talked a lot about this. Guys, you who believe in luck, that you're going to just find a guy on the dating sites or even in real life, you date, God will protect you even if he does not introduce you to his parents. Or it is not all that important. He can introduce you to his parents and still, you know, be bad. So better date a guy and it's okay. Introduction is not important. Guys, don't do that. Please, please. A guy should introduce you. If you are very important to that guy that you are chatting to, that you are about to chat with, <laughs> he should introduce you to his relatives, to his close friends, to his parents, if he has got parents. 
hear me out. So tells us it happened there is a friend who used to live near Linda's mom's place, was a neighbor. And when Linda was talking to that guy, who is the father of the child, that guy was like, hmm, I thought this guy was married. <laughs> Linda told the guy, no, he's not married. He told me marriage is no more. Yes, he was married before, but they ended everything with the wife due to the wife's behavior. But that guy kept on telling her, no, that guy is married. And as it kept on, you know, ringing in her head that this guy must be married, must be married, then she started getting the push to really find out the truth. So what Linda decided to do, decided to go on Facebook and track down his sister. When she found his sister on Facebook, asked her her phone number. It took a while before his sister getting back to Linda, but eventually she got back to Linda and shared her WhatsApp numbers, though didn't know who Linda was. So after Linda getting the phone number of George's sister, decided to call her. When she called her, introduced herself and told her that they've got a child together. But George's sister was very direct and open and told Linda, George is married, has three kids, and the youngest is a bit older than Linda's son. So that means when this guy started dating Linda, he had a very small child, or maybe <laughs> the wife was heavily pregnant. Oh my God, it was a very, very big shock. To Linda but the sister was very very happy and wanted to organize for her and her mother their mother to go see Linda's baby Linda's son but Linda wasn't sure about it was like I'll think about it but later decided to send the photos of his son to George's sister so you know the aunt to get to see the niece when she saw the pictures, we are super, super happy and was like, my mom is going to be so happy and I want you to meet my mom because my mom and the current daughter-in-law, meaning the wife to George, they're not in good terms, you know, the mother-in-law doesn't like her. So she was like, my mom is going to be happy and you can even be George's second wife. <laughs> Linda was like, what am I hearing? <laughs> so the sister told her that George and the wife have been fighting a lot because George spends much of his income on drinking and buying cars, you know, leaving the wife to take up much of his responsibilities. So that is why I was telling you, it's not that Linda was a bad woman. That's why George started acting like that in an irresponsible way. No, George is a bad guy. No matter whom he marries, he will keep on being a bad man, an irresponsible man. Oh my goodness. Linda hearing all that tells us, Bella, I was disgusted and it is something that I will never have done in my life to date a man who is married. It is something I frowned upon. So when she had all those suggestions of her becoming a second wife was like, <laughs> the reason why I left George to be part of our lives, me and my son, it's because I thought he was a single man. Now I am hearing he is a married man. He must get out of my life. Because Linda was not interested in the confusion and the drama that comes with children from multiple women and relationships. And the conversation that Linda had with his sister never confronted George or to ask him, George, I had this, I had nothing like that. Yes, he kept on calling me. I could see his missed calls, but for me, I was done, done, done with George. And the reason she never bothered like to unblock him, call him back to know what he wanted to say is that George knew her mom's address, you know, where her mom lived. 
So if he was that interested to see the son, he could have gone at her mom's place. But it was clear in Linda's eyes that he was not interested, not in his son, not in Linda, not even interested in taking up his responsibilities as a father. <laughs> <laughs> so dear friends, this video has been a long one and it is really really long. I can't do the whole of it today. So we are going to be ending here. I promise you, this is the promise. <laughs> My next upload will be part two of Linda's love story. We'll get to know how she found that amazing man from Norway and we'll have more, more, more things to learn from her part two love story. Thank you so much, guys. If you have watched till now, be blessed. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.